Tracker Weather Forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. High pressure dominating the Pacific Northwest and just off the coast as well, and that continues to bring this northwesterly flow across Montana. That's been anchored there for several weeks, and at times we see a little clipper type storm drop out of Canada down into Montana. So the next clipper will be moving in sometime Tuesday evening into Wednesday. We got one system dropping out of Montana today, and now we're looking at diminishing cloud cover. Tomorrow looks like a wonderful day. Lots of sunshine, milder temperatures out ahead of this next storm front, but modeling is showing that this is going to be stretched out from Great Falls to Billings, impacting most of central and eastern Montana throughout the day on Wednesday. Not a lot of moisture across southwest Montana. Slight chance for some mountain snow in around Bozeman, and that's about it. But we will see a cool down, a short-lived one, mind you, midweek with that front passing through. So we're sitting under somewhat cloudy skies right now in Butte. 43 degrees is your current temperature. Winds right now are fairly light at about 3 miles per hour. Max out right at a perfect 46 degrees and stayed a slightly above average on that overnight low thanks to the mostly cloudy skies. Now Bozeman also had a little bit of wet weather today. MSU came in with about 5 one hertz of an inch of rain uh, throughout the overnight and this morning. But Belgrade at the airport is sitting at 40 degrees right now. Mostly cloudy skies and no observed precipitation. And highs were a little cooler than average. Lows were a little bit above because of the mostly cloudy skies. So we're sitting in the 30s and 40s here locally. And many out, uh, temperatures out west are also in the low to mid 40s. But behind this cold front, you can see it is a little colder across central and eastern counties of Montana. So we're going to see this type of a contrast uh, play out again, especially on Wednesday. But generally a downshift on uh, most of our temperatures statewide. But tonight under clearing skies, you'll fall into the teens, 20s and 30s out there uh, out west and watch out for some patchy valley fog. Tomorrow we're going to push these numbers with abundant sunshine into the low to mid 50s. And for some of you, that's going to be a few degrees above the norm. So that'll be a nice little change of pace. But uh, generally a dry day looks good for traveling around the region. Still looking at a few spotty mountain snow showers around uh, the rest of southwestern Montana, east of the divide. And you might have some minor impacts like over Bozeman Pass, for example but cloudy now clearing later winds around 5 to 15 out of the south and west and a good variety of numbers teens 20s 30s and a windier 40 in around the living scenario now max temperatures tomorrow should come back up in the upper 40s and lower 50s that's going to be a nice little change uh, in the weather pattern trends but it's short lived because we've got a cold front Wednesday and that's going to knock our numbers right back down once again. So let's take a look at the up and down temperature. So we're going up for Bozeman tomorrow. We're coming down briefly with some wind, maybe a slight chance for some mountain snow showers on the day on Wednesday. And then we start to climb again. And by the weekend, we're right back up there in the lower 50s. And then here comes another cold front and it'll be on Sunday. And in fact, it could be moving in Saturday evening into Sunday. So there could be some rain changing over to snow and another little shot of colder air. Uh, overnight low temperatures will be all over the board, teens, 20s, and 30s uh, for Bozeman. Butte up to 51 tomorrow, mostly dry but cooler and breezy with the northwest flow uh, Wednesday. We'll be back up in the upper 40s and lower 50s by the end of the week and to get another front and a slight chance for snow by Sunday uh, of the upcoming weekend. Dillon and areas south uh, mostly dry, but you can see a lot of variety of temperatures. 50s tomorrow, 30s on Wednesday, mid 50s possible on Friday, teens, 20s and 30s at night and down on West Yellowstone, mostly dry here as well. A lot of the storms are going to be passing to the north and east of you, but we'll hover in the 40s for most days and teens for most overnight lows and a little on the quieter side the farther south you go. All right, thanks, Mike. Don Tibbetts in with Sports Right Now, an update on Bobcat football. Yeah, the more the season goes on, Kevin, the more consistency they're going to need in the quarterback position. I'll have that coming up next in sports.